Hey, so this has been a crazy year, right? With all the, with all the stuff in it. So much stuff, so many video games. Okay, so anyway, I got way in over my head and started way too many goddamn projects at the same time. In case that's not obvious, it might not be, because it probably seems like I always have a lot of projects going simultaneously, but trust me, there are several that you don't even know about that we're running concurrently with all the ones that are already running. But let's just get straight to the important stuff. Uh, Evolution Worlds is cancelled. And it's a weird combination of things. First of all, it's too repetitive to talk over. And secondly, there are too many game mechanics I don't understand. And I can't sufficiently explore the mechanics to find out how they work because the game is just too goddamn easy for that. So yeah, I can't maintain the informative level of quality I would like for Evolution Worlds because it's not something I can actually be informative about. So I don't think it would be a good idea to keep going. But hey, Evolution Worlds was half of an experiment that brought us The Sims 2 Let's Play, which is now my new legacy because I got rid of Hamster Ball, finally. So with the big thing out of the way, it's time for the second, more vague, but equally important thing. I'm just not gonna worry about stuff anymore. I'll still do my best with the Let's Plays I do, but I'm just gonna let my instincts take over from here. Do whatever feels best. Life is an adventure and I want to explore video games. Who the fuck knows where we're going from here, I don't. In keeping with that theme, let's talk about the game you're seeing on screen right now. Yeah, this is an update video, but talking about this game feels right, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is the demo for a game called Project of Black Sun, which is infamous for its difficulty among the few people who have actually played it. That's because you cannot fire up, down, or diagonally, your jump is rather limited, you only have two hearts at the start, and it's, uh... Well, the enemies can shoot and jump through walls, and you can't do that. Fucking cheating bastards. Most of its praise comes from how old-school difficult it is, and it does capture old-school difficulty a lot better than other retro games. Most retro games are actually more modern than they think they are. But the difficulty in this game is decidedly more old school, yes. I haven't brought up the limited ammo for your gun, limited grenades, incredibly ineffective short range melee attack that's also context specific. But hopefully you're starting to get the idea. Well, that's all I wanted to say about Project Black Sun. I guess this video's over now? You can't cut these bushes, by the way. I tried hitting them with a melee attack, but the dude just shoots his gun instead. Speaking of adventure, did you know there's a Game Boy Advance game called The Morning Adventure? It's a 2D platformer that's actually a tie-in with a foreign brand of breakfast cookies, but it's totally just candy and definitely